Greetings, my fellow EV aficionados. I'm Pete Gruber, and welcome back to yet another Gruber Motors video. Today, we want to take a look back at one of our more controversial video endeavors. We did a video a while back entitled, Why Are EVs Catching on Fire? An overwhelming number of viewers misunderstood the video, assuming we were comparing EV fires to fossil fuel burners, making a claim that EVs are more prone to catching on fire. We noticed viewers who failed to view the entirety of the video missed the conclusion, where it becomes clear we are alleging hasty battery design is responsible for EV fires, not making a claim EVs are involved in more fires. In all fairness to viewers, we take full responsibility for this misconception since our title sets the tone and expectation. So, we are doing the sequel, EVs have the fewest fires, which should dispel the unfair stigma that EVs are more prone to burning up. Electric cars have been subject to several high profile recalls over fire risk. Yet a new study shows that they are less likely to cause a vehicle fire than either gas powered cars or hybrid vehicles. Analysts from Auto Insurance EZ examined data from the National Transportation Safety Board to track the number of car fires and compared it to sales data from the Bureau of Transportation Statistics. The 2021 analysis results are hybrid powered cars were involved in about 3,475 fires for every 100,000 cars sold. Gasoline powered cars about 1530 for every 100,000 sold and electric vehicles saw just 25 fires for every 100,000 sold. There is some logic to these statistics. After all, gasoline-powered autos depend on combustion to move. The energy transfer electric cars use to move doesn't involve anything hot, burning, extremely flammable, or plumbing carrying combustible fluids. Now, researchers also tallied fire-related recalls filed with the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration in 2020. Gasoline-powered cars were subject to far more recalls for fire risk than EVs. EVs came in second, a statistic bloated by EV newcomers, probably for the same reason we stated in the first video, that EV battery technology is still evolving and the rush to gain market share may result in cutting corners in battery safety and design. Hybrids were a distant third that year. However, we should caution that limiting recall research to 2020 means the analyst missed most of last year's escalating series of Chevy Bolt fire recalls, which came in at just over 140,000. In 2020, both hybrid and electric vehicle fire risk recalls were all related to battery issues. This is a stark difference from gas recalls, which were recalled for a variety of issues with fuel leaks, electrical shorts, anti-lock braking system failures. According to the National Fire Prevention Association, an estimated 560 people died in car fires in 2018. Collisions triggered the majority of fatal fires. Car fires also caused an estimated 1.9 billion in property damage losses in the U.S. While all vehicle fires are potentially dangerous, lithium ion battery fires in electric cars get immediate press due to the stigma and fear of the unknown. An unwarranted fear of technology, also known as technophobia, which is the fear or dislike of advanced technology or complex devices, especially the rapid disruption occurring in transportation. Technophobia is surprisingly common. In fact, some experts believe that we all suffer at least a small amount of nervousness when confronted with new technology. Resistance to new technology is always rooted in a fear of the unknown and typically takes the form of generalizing or exaggerating a few specific problems. Add that to the fact that EV battery fires are significantly harder to put out than gas fires, and most firefighters aren't familiar with how to put out EV fires since electric cars are relatively new. 
The media usually has a field day reporting EV fires until the facts start coming in, by which time the damage has typically already been done. So in conclusion, despite the focus on EV fires in the news, the researchers concluded they are not inherently more dangerous than gas or hybrid fires, despite electric fires tending to be more difficult than gas fires to extinguish. With all that being said, Electric vehicles are still safer than their gas engine counterparts. Tesla claims gasoline-powered cars are 11 times more likely to catch fire. We hope this has provided clarity on the points we wanted to make with our first video and has cleared up any misunderstanding. For more content like this, make sure to check us out on Patreon, Instagram, and TikTok. I'm Pete Gruber. Thank you for joining us.